Hi, my name is Dr. Ramon Rodriguez. I am a board certified neurologist and movement disorder specialist. And today I will be giving you some advice about how to prepare for the first visit whenever you're going to see your doctor. I will be paying most of the attention for your evaluation of a patient with Parkinson's disease. However, the information that I will be uh, discussing will apply to almost every other medical condition whenever you have to see your doctor. In first place, if you are a patient that you suspect that you have Parkinson's disease, the most important thing that you need to do for that first visit is number one, it would be great to have a little bit of a summary about when is it that you start having symptoms? What are the symptoms that you are having? Is it a tremor? Is it trouble walking? Is it difficulty with your thinking? Difficulty with mobility? So it is very important for the doctor to understand when is it that you started having symptoms? Six months ago, or a year ago, two years ago? And after that, if you have seen a doctor for the evaluation of the same condition before, it will be very helpful for you to bring copies of those medical records. In particular, make sure that you bring a copy of the MRI of the brain, if you had one done, and if you have the pictures, that will be even better. Important information that you can bring to your doctor as well is whether you've been having some vivid dreams at night. That is very important information, and sometimes the patient is not aware of the problem, however, it is the caregiver or the spouse, the one that is aware whether this is a problem that is happening or not. It is always important to talk about depression, your motivation, you know, have you noticed any changes in your speech? Have people made any comments about how you're speaking, how you are conducting yourself? Another important piece of information is whether you are falling and also whether you are still able to get dressed, take a shower, brush your teeth and do all the activities of daily living that you're supposed to be doing. Along with this, it is very important to bring a copy or a list of the medications that you have taken, in particular, over the past five years. And an easy way for you to get this information is to call your local pharmacy. Most of the time, they actually keep track of all the medications that you have been taking, and they will be more than happy to make a copy of that list of medications and it will be ideal for you to bring the list to your doctor. Bring the medications that you are taking, and not only the medications that have been prescribed by doctors, but also the list of the supplements that you are taking. Sometimes these supplements actually might have an interaction that will affect how some of the medications that have been prescribed by your doctor work in your body. So this is all important information. We cannot be thinking that because it is a supplement or a natural product, there will be no interaction with the medications that you are taking on a daily basis. It's always good to have information about someone else that may have been watching you over time. Write down those comments that other people have been telling you because trying to put all the pieces uh, uh, together, every bit of information will be critical, will be very important. So with this, I think that you will have a, a most uh, successful visit. You will provide the information that your doctor needs to know in order to make the diagnosis, or at least he will have a good idea about what is happening with you so he can order the proper testing or give you the correct medication for you to have improvement in your symptoms. Once again, thank you for this uh, short time. I hope that this medication uh, and this information is very valuable, and we're going to have some more information in the future. Thank you.